What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're going to be doing a review on one of the best pistols of 2019. This is one of the new designs from FN. It is basically the midsize of the FN 509 that was pretty popular in 2018. Before we get into the review, I want to mention my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. The channel's been almost completely demonetized at this point, so you guys are basically the force driving the guns and reviews and stuff. So I appreciate that. And because of that, we're going to be stepping up the giveaways a little bit. We're going to be doing the giveaway for the Ear Pro very soon. And then after that, I have a couple of knives and a couple of other stuff and maybe even a fire or two to give away this summer. So all you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is be a supporter. Also want to mention ammo.com. They've been a longtime supporter of the channel. There is a link in the description below. If you click it, you get $20 off any order of 200 bucks or more. So what is the FN 509 midsize? Well, as I said, it's, it's very similar to the 509 that came out last year, except it actually has a smaller grip. The 509 originally was kind of a Glock 19X type of firearm, whereas this is more of just a Glock 19 firearm. As a matter of fact, as you can see here on the table, they are almost the exact same size as the Glock 19. Barrel length is the same at four inches. The overall length, the overall height, all very, very similar. And the magazine capacity is the same as well. Uh, 10 rounds if you live in a shitty state, 15 rounds if you live in a free state, which is pretty nice. The overall weight of this gun is also very similar. A little bit heavier though, as you can see, it's a little bit beefier of a gun than the Glock at right around 26.5 ounces, very similar to the M&P or the CZ P10C. So comparable to almost every other polymer gun on the market. And just like every other polymer gun on the market, this is striker fired, very similar weight, very similar size. So what sets this apart? So while they're all striker fired nine millimeter pistols essentially, and they all do a very similar job, each year another company comes out with one that's slightly better than the previous, coming out with slightly more features that most people put on, like aftermarket features for example. And that is where the FN 509 midsize really comes into play, at least in my opinion. So before we get into the accessories, we'll talk about reliability because that's the most important. It's no surprise with any other FN pistol that I've ever used. It is 100%. I think I've shot around 700 rounds through this pistol or something like that. I had a good time shooting it actually. And uh, for a compact gun, it was pretty accurate. The reliability was excellent, the durability was excellent. And the reason why it was accurate is because the uh, trigger on this gun is actually, at least for me, really good. I really like it. It isn't the lightest in the world. It's not like CZP 10 C light or Canic light but it's got a very distinctive clean break, which I really like. I found it pretty easy to hit at at least 50 yards and I could hit at 80 yards with it as well, which is pretty good for a compact pistol. That's way further than you would ever have to shoot for any self-defense type situation. The sights on the pistol are actually pretty good as well. They come with night sights right from the factory, at least mine did, and that's pretty awesome. That's added value. So accuracy and reliability is just as good or maybe even slightly better than other polymer framed guns on the market. But what really sets this apart in my opinion, as I said in the beginning of the video, is the features. The texture of this gun is for the first time since the M&P 2.0, pretty good. I really like this. I wouldn't have a stipple job or anything on this. It comes with adjustable back straps as well. I like how they kind of stepped up and stepped down the texture depending on where you're gonna need it. You can see here, it is a little bit less aggressive texture here, more aggressive texture here, and even less here. It's it's, it's an interesting blend that helps you hold on to the pistol very well. The trigger is a serious upgrade from any Glock or MP, in my particular opinion, and that's starting to become standard with guns like the PPQ, the HK VP9. If you don't have a really good trigger from the factory and your name isn't Glock, you're not gonna be on the same level with other pistols on the market. It also has full ambi controls. Somebody like my wife would really like that. As you can see, your magazine release, unlike the P10C, works very easy from both sides. Slide release, slide lock works very well again from both sides. None of the controls are sticky, which is really nice. They all feel very worn in. It has the M&P style takedown lever, which in my opinion is the best takedown lever. It has a Picatinny rail, as you see here, not some dumb Glock accessory rail. It also comes with slide serrations and kind of a tri- not really a tri-top slide, but a very uniquely cut slide. And it has a uh, a little cocking serration there as well too if you want to use that there there the slide is really easy to get a hold of and manipulate in case you have a malfunction which in my opinion you won't have very many of not to mention 
With all that stuff to manipulate the slide, you also have the uh, standard sight on there that you can run off your belt or your boot or you know your zipper or whatever you're going to use it with. So there's many different ways to manipulate this particular gun and all of the accessories that I could see that you would ever want to add onto this pistol aside from maybe a high def front sight would be the only minor criticism I could think of already come on this pistol. You don't have to undercut the trigger guard like you do on a Glock. You don't have to do anything. I was almost, I don't know, I was almost disappointed when I get a gun that I really like. I like to upgrade it and make it my own, but this gun already has absolutely everything you would ever need on it already. I think, for my personal opinion, it is the most complete and probably the best out-of-the-box pistol. If I had to pick an out-of-the-box gun to use every day, you know, like zombie apocalypse, carry, whatever it may be, I think I would honestly pick the 509. Now, there are some guns that I like better because of personal bias. 1911s, I shoot Glocks really well. I've shot them a long time. Uh, a done-up Glock I like slightly better than this, but you're going to have to pay a lot more also. I mean, for a custom Glock, even with sights and a trigger job and everything like that, you're looking at somewhere around seven to $800, whereas this gun is just as good for only 550 and I think for people who didn't grow up shooting Glocks or didn't grow up shooting 1911s like me and don't have that bias, I think that this is just all around the better gun and I don't see how it's not. Guns like the P10C were very close and the VP9, stuff like that, and they all have one thing here, one thing there that you need to upgrade a little bit or one thing that I have a small criticism of. I don't see any knock at all. For the FN 509, aside from the lack of accessories, because they don't need accessories. <laughs> uh, I wish it came with one more magazine, maybe there, maybe that's a criticism, but honestly this gun is excellent. We'll get into uh, shootability here now quick, and again, very excellent. Because of the trigger, because of the short reset trigger, you can shoot very quickly. Because of the texture, you can hold onto the gun really well. And because it doesn't have a crazy bore axis like the SIG 320, uh, it's not super snappy, even though it's only a four inch barrel. So in this, you have a 26 ounce gun that has a four inch barrel that can shoot like a full size gun that you don't need a stipple job and you don't need to do anything to. So overall, I'm gonna have to give this gun a solid 10 out of 10, especially out of the box. And I can't say that enough. Again, because I'm gonna put it in the title of this video, but this is, in my opinion, the best out-of-the-box pistol. People ask me that question all the time. What gun should I get for my first gun uh, that I don't wanna do anything to, I don't wanna to have to gunsmith it? What gun should I get if I'm left-handed? All those questions are answered right here with the FN 509 midsize, and I believe that it's a little bit better than the 509 original simply because the shorter grip makes it easier to carry. As long as I have the magazine inserted and you won't be shooting the gun very much without it inserted, I can get pretty much a full grip on the pistol. So big enough grip uh, to shoot while still having a short enough grip that you can carry fairly easily. And you can still use the FN 509 magazines, I'm pretty sure, just like the Glock 17 and the Glock 19. So if you wanna carry a uh, higher capacity spare, you can do that as well. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.